What is up guys, Dion, uh, back with another video. Um, today we have the Orico NVMe M.2 SSD enclosure. And pretty much what this is, is it lets you take an NVMe SSD, either 2230, 2242, or I think the last one's 2280 size SSD, and our NVMe based M.2 SSD and put it in here and lets you create like a portable hard drive. Um, and I bought this because I have my spare, well, I have two spare drives. Um, I have this half a terabyte NVMe, it's a Western Digital SSD that came in my Dell laptop that I just made a video on, you guys should check out. Um, and then I have this. Samsung uh, 970 Evo Plus NVMe one terabyte um, SSD. This I'm gonna be putting in something else. Uh, there'll be another video on that coming up. But this one, this is fairly cheap. I think it was like $23 on Amazon. Um, I'm going to be using for the Raspberry Pi project um, that I made videos on, which you guys can check out there on my channel as well. Um, but I'm gonna be using it as like a big storage for like movies, um, music, stuff like that, making it sort of like a server. Um, I'm also gonna be doing a video on um, putting Windows 10, full Windows 10 on this. Um, there's uh, some, I don't remember his name, but somebody figured out a way to do that and I'll be doing a video on that, giving him credit of course. Um, but I thought that'll be cool and uh, maybe trying to run some games on it, like Portal or Half-Life 2. I know there's videos of people playing Half-Life out there, but I want to try and see if Steam games like Half-Life 2 work on it. Might not work well, but we'll see. Anyways, um, opening up the box, and sorry this is going to be bad. I have doing it with one hand. Um, now you can get these in a few different colors. I just went with black because I think black looks fine, but you can get it in blue, red, and I think silver. Alrighty, so it was a bit difficult to get out. I'd actually set the camera down, pull this out, and push on it from the bottom. Um, but it's fairly simple. They also sell um, the same brand, Orico, I believe is how you pronounce it. They sell one that's like silver, so you don't, you can't see inside. But I thought it'd be cool to be able to see all of the the little capacitors and whatnot on the inside. There's also a blue LED status light on the back here. In this back corner that focuses that like when you plug it in it turns on and whatnot um, now it is a tool list open it's tool list to open it up but it is it does require a screwdriver to screw it in here and like I said the 2230 2242 I think it is and 2280 um, SSDs fit in here and I think one more I'm not really sure on the full sizes uh, anyway, in the box, I have opened this once before. In the box, you get a Type-C to Type-C cable and a Type-C to Type-A cable. The actual connection on this is Type-C. If you can see that there. Um, but in the box, you get a screwdriver. You get this little... I don't know what to call this, but it's what goes on the in there on the end of the... M.2 and then it screws into the back there and then you also get a uh, screw for that. Now also in the box you'll find the you know user manuals and thermal pads because you put them on this and then this goes straight through it'll help cool it um, cool the SSD because you don't want it to get too hot. Um, now this works for NVMe based SSDs and it works for um, what, well, on the Amazon page, it says it works for SSDs that are only the M key, which is the ones like this 970 Evo Plus, where it has the slot. When you're looking at the, the sticker on top, it has the slot on the left side. However, uh, off camera, I did try this one that's the M and B key, but it is an NVMe drive and it has worked. So I think you could get away with this. Um, 
I, just to be safe, would probably only stick to M key SSDs or buy one that you know works with both for sure. This one said specifically it only works with M keys and I did test it on it with an M and B and it has worked. I just did take a risk. Um, so this essentially will let you build your own portable hard drive. You could pick, you know, one of these up that's like 120 gigs for a few dollars or you know, if you have some extra NVMe drives laying around, you could put them to use. Um, could store games on it if you want to. That's what I'm planning on doing with this uh, one terabyte one. I'm going to use it as like a um, sort of, I guess, portable games type thing. Like I'll install some games or maybe I'll install and make a backup of my computer or um, put like important documents on here. Um, and just keep it separate. This one I do want to use for uh, make my own little like maybe cloud storage so I don't have to use like Google Drive or whatnot. Um, anyway, installing would be fairly simple. You just want to line up with the slot down there. You want this sticker always to face up and you would just slot it in down there and it's going to require a bit of force. I don't know if I could do this with one hand. So you would just slot it in like that and then take this, I think it's brass maybe, and just slide it in there on that little thing there. And then you want to push down on it and screw this screw in through the bottom holding it so it holds it down. And then um, you would use these thermal pads um, either cut it or, you know, use separate ones and just stick it on there, covering it so that when you put this on, it touches it to help keep it cool. I'm going to get this fully assembled off camera since it's going to require two hands and I only have one free at the moment. Uh, and I will get back to you guys in a minute. Now I got this all installed. I didn't end up using the um, thermal pads or pad that came with it, because uh, I had these ones that I got on Amazon when I I used to build the Raspberry Pi. Um, they're a bit thicker, and they're um, better for cooling. Um, I don't know what you know compound or brand that they used for these, but I know that this one was good, so I just went ahead and used that since I have a lot left over. Um, and. You're gonna to wanna to be careful. To install the screw, you're gonna to have to pull the actual board out. It's not screwed into it. Um, just be careful when handling it. it. It's not super fragile, but you don't wanna, you know, put too much force on it, and you don't wanna to put too much power into screwing down that screw. Now, it's advertised as 10 gigabits per second for, um, only for USB type C. I think USB, type, uh, what is this, B or A, um, is the speed is slower. I don't remember exactly what it is. Anyway, you would just, you do that, and then you would take your cables and plug them in, and I'll do that here in a sec. And once you get it plugged in, status light should come on, or maybe start blinking or whatnot. Your computer might make a, a bit of a noise, and then if you come here to file manager and you go to local disk or not local disk you go to this pc it should come up as local disk and then whatever um letter um these are my other two drives i did a video on installing them if you want to check it out it'll be on my channel this one says that it has stuff in it because it still has windows on it from when i pulled it out of this computer originally i will be formatting it um but as you can see, it does work. This is the M and B key um, SSD, and it, it is it does say that it's supposed to only work with M key NVMe SSDs. So, um, you know, maybe I just got lucky, or you know, maybe um, they I don't know didn't forget they forgot to advertise it or whatnot. I don't think this is a this is a I think a Chinese brand, I'm really not sure. I th think it is, like, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but um, it was sort of vague on Amazon, but I think this 
works out real well. It is, this is transferring heat. This is warming up uh, quite a bit. So that should help on there. The only issue is, so if you put like a, a Samsung SSD in there and you try to use Samsung Magician, it's not going to recognize it as a Samsung drive um, because it's just picking it up as a, a USB drive. It's not gonna register whatever brand of SSD that you put in there. Um, there were some reviews saying that some people got it to recognize it, but I'm, you know, it's probably 50-50. You know, you might get lucky, you might not. I'm not too sure. Uh, I don't really mind. I'm just gonna be using it as, you know, storage. So it works out for me. Um, anyways, this was just a quick little video on it and uh, hope you guys enjoy it. And um, if you like the video, subscribe, leave a like. Um, I have a lot of other videos on my channel and I have a lot more to come. Uh, thank you all that have, you know, subscribed and watched my videos up until now. Um, I'll try to put out more awesome content for you. Um, so stick around and have a nice day.